The 2023 school year got off to a rocky start in Gauteng. Frustrated parents camped outside district offices demanding that their children be placed. They blamed the online application process, saying it should be scrapped. To get an update on the placement process, I'm joined by Gauteng Education MEC Matome Chiluane. Uh, good evening, uh, MEC. Thank you so much for your time. So, uh, Gauteng schools got underway last week. Uh, we spoke to you then, and you still had a small number of pupils yet to be placed in schools. Uh, now we're hearing dissatisfaction from parents. Uh, with them camping outside your offices. Can you tell us how many parents there were and, and what the plans are to place their children? Uh, good, evening to, good evening to your viewers. Um, look, uh, the number of parents has substantially decreased from the initial, uh, from day one, because we, we have been continuing to place and 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 to and we've been getting positive feedback from parents uh, with regard to placement as opposed to initially we're getting multiple a lot of appeals uh, uh, to say this is not the preferred school now parents have been able to come on board and be able to trust the department that where we're placing their kids children we are going to give them the same quality education that they were expecting from their preferred schools um, however we do have a small number uh, we are going to give you a, a, a give an updated figure on Thursday. Uh, however, we are continuing to place uh, figures. I know by now we are below 500 uh, because also today we are, we are placing. So I say that let's consolidate everything. Uh, we set a target of the 30th of January, but we will, we will be done uh, way before uh, with mm. regard to placement. So, yeah. All right, so we'll get consolidated figures from you later in the week. For now, though, can you tell us, we know that there have been a mix of issues. Some parents uh, had made late applications, and then it's completely to be understood that their children hadn't been placed yet. Others had uh, applied in advance and still hadn't been placed. And some saying that the online process is giving them issues. What part of the application process online are they dissatisfied with? I, I wouldn't say majority, uh, because majority are placed. Um, uh, the issue is that the spaces and the preferred school has always been a, a, an area of concern. Uh, and, and, and largely, the, it's because of trust. You know, uh, parents have preferences, preferences, and if they don't get those preferences, then they assume that the online system is a problem. The online system is very... Uh, uh, effective, uh, we it is it assists us in the planning. I'm, I'm I'm just saying to imagine having to deal with more than three hundred and fifty thousand parents looking for spaces in the province in a particular. It will be cumbersome. It will be virtually impossible. You know, the online system has allowed us to cut the queue and also be able to identify where are the spaces and where do we need to improve capacity. To ensure that we place our the, the learners and 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 that is that, that has really helped and also on the planning before the opening of school school so <clears throat> so i know that some parents are, are just worried about preferences and i do understand and and I, and I really do understand those parents who their children are yet to be placed and i want to assure them that their children will be placed in schools uh, we we are currently uh, <clears throat> Uh, 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 we're currently now uh, obviously uh, rolling out uh, mobiles. Those mobiles are increasing the capacities of certain schools so that we'll be placing those learners in those particular schools. For instance, in the Kempton Park area, in a, in a few days' time, it will be an issue of the past. We have we are setting up a satellite school there. We have found the land, we have found school, we have found all the infrastructure in place. and. And, and, and by then would have placed the learners there. So, so parents need to be assured that we are with them on their side and we really, really are at pains that their children are at home because we feel what they are feeling as a department and we are really working around the clock to really close off this particular uh, chapter.
I hear what you're saying about uh, resources and placements going hand in hand uh, with schools and preferences. Um, and we know that we need to increase uh, the infrastructure in Gauteng. We have an influx, and we discussed this last time, of people coming into the province. So we're going to need to expand the availability of space in our schools. Um, however, the DA is claiming in an article today that La School Birchley, Wurst School Birchley and Pomolong Secondary School, uh, all in Ikuruleni, have not received additional mobile classrooms to accommodate the high demand specifically at those schools. Can you just give us uh, your um, response to that claim? Uh, well, mobiles, uh, we have appointed service providers to assist us to roll out with mobiles. Yes, some schools might have not received mobile, but they are coming. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are putting a lot of pressure. Uh, as you know, that we are not the only province with uh, a, a, a demand for mobiles. Uh, it's, it's just a, a competitive matter. However, we have we have uh, sourced them, and we know that by the end of the week, we would have would have uh, delivered all mobiles. And in some areas, it's not even ourselves, uh, the department or the service provider. There are business forums who are currently even disrupting uh, the rolling out of these mobiles, demanding 30 percent, demanding this, and demanding that. Uh, and, and that's part of the delay, uh, especially in some of our, um, in, in certain areas, for instance, in the Tswani area. Uh, these are some of the challenges that we have uh, while we're rolling out this. And we want to appeal to those communities and, and those uh, local leaders that please allow us to conclude this. Allow us, whoever we have appointed to assist us to roll out the mobiles, let them do that so that we can place our learners into those uh, 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 mobiles. So as for those two schools, I will get a report, but uh, where I'm sitting is that mobiles are coming. If they are not there yesterday, I'm sure today they are delivered mm -hmm. uh, or, or they will be delivered tomorrow. But they are part of uh, uh, the schools that will be getting these uh, mobiles. We're waiting for the metric results to be released. Some of them will be released tomorrow. Some of them will be released on Thursday. Are you excited uh, about the Gauteng results? I know you can't give us uh, any numbers ahead of time, but, but just give us a sense of what the department is feeling ahead of the release of those results tomorrow. Uh, we're, we're optimistic. Uh, <clears throat> as I've been saying, that uh, Gauteng continues to provide uh, uh, quality education. Uh, I think our, our best barometer is the number of bachelor passes that the province would have produced. We are waiting keenly. Uh, but however, our record speaks for itself. We've been able to produce most bachelor passes than any other province for a number of years. And, and those are university entrants. And that demonstrates that that's why there's even an influx into our province uh, with regard to that. But we remain optimistic. The results, I do not have them myself now. But uh, I'm, I remain optimistic, and I really say for those that have done well, well done. And uh, those who have not uh, uh, gone through, there are other pro programs in place that we've put as a department to assist them to go through. It's not the end of the, the, the world. Uh, they will pass eventually. They need to work harder. We are here to support them. And just as a reminder to, to some of those who may get results tomorrow that are not quite what they had expected and either want to rewrite exams or get a remark, what are the processes involved there? No, we have a second chance uh, that will be, that will be unpacking. We'll, we'll go on a particular campaign to assist those particular learners that will not have uh, uh, passed, rather, um, uh, and those who want to improve their marks as well. We do have... Uh, uh, plans in place. We will uh, communicate it at the, after uh, the results are announced and, and obviously we will be setting up uh, uh, areas where they could go to uh, to ensure that they begin that process of improving their results. Oh, thank, thank you very much for speaking to us this evening and uh, for that update. Uh, good luck with the last placements for school learners for this year.